with FlossTube. My name is Becca and I'm Sambri Stitches here on FlossTube and Instagram. And this is another special edition of Interview with a FlossTuber. Today I'm here with Bobby. Um, her channel is Pumpkin Creek Primitives. Um, I really enjoy her channel. She's freaking hilarious. <laughs> um, <No pressure>. but on, <laughs> on top of that, we get to see like her kitties in the videos. Um, she shows stitching. We have story time, which I love because um, that's like my favorite part. No joke. Um, also, because you kind of say things off the cuff during story time as well. Um, and we also get enabled um, because she has her own Etsy shop. And so she shows the charts and stuff that she got in. So if you want to be enabled, you should go check out her video. Um, but I'll put all the links down below to her Etsy shop and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So you guys have all the information. But anyways, <laughs> so how are you doing today, Bobby? I am doing good. I'm kind of tired after working all day, but I'm good. I am a little nervous, which is weird because I don't know. It's just, I guess the back and forth makes you more nervous than just when you talk to your own camera and can yeah. edit it yourself. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but this could be edited too. So, <laughs> so we're good. Um, no, I'm, I'm a little tired too. All I've been doing is sitting all day, but still tired. So I yeah. totally get it. Um, so we're going to jump into the questions and the first one is why did you start a floss tube and were there any particular motivations? Um, I, I mean, I guess there were motivations. I wanted to start, I talked about starting a year before I actually did. Oh wow. Like when I first started stitching because I felt like I had nobody to talk to about, you know, and I think that's how most people start their floss tube is they want to document like what they're doing and they have nobody else to talk to about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I just did it and I was like, Oh, I can do this. And I was like, no. And then I decided to open an Etsy shop. And then I was like, well, hello, free advertising, right? <laughs> yeah. I should absolutely do a floss tube because I also, you know, I do want to show my stuff, but also I'm like, then I can also show stuff that's coming into the shop. So it's, you know, just a good way to show what's, what's going on in my store, so to speak. Yep. It's so. very enabling too. <laughs> I know because I messaged you and you hadn't even had the charts listed and I was like, put this together. So yeah, I, I actually really enjoy that. Not very many Etsy shops do that. Um, will show kind mm -hmm. of what they get in. And I think that actually is a really huge thing that you do. Yeah. Well, I think people are um, not comfortable with self-promoting. <laughs> and <laughs> I apparently have no problem. <laughs> um, I mean, cause it is weird. Cause you feel like it's like, Hey, come and buy these things from me. Yeah. But I just love everything I pick and put in my shop for the most part is something that I feel like I would actually want to stitch one day. So I, you know, I just enjoy sharing it. Yeah. And you seem to show so. a lot of stuff that many people haven't seen. Like I hadn't seen a lot of those um, like that gingerbread one that I got from you. I'm currently oh, yeah. stitching. Oh, yeah. stitcher. Yeah, a little stitcher. Um, I hadn't seen any of those. So it's really neat yeah. that you well, show them. So I've become obsessed with Italian designers. I had no idea. And I started seeing a trend. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Order them all. <laughs> yeah, because it used to be the primitive hair was like my all-time favorite. And yeah. like that was immediately I wanted to have her in my shop and everything. And then all of a sudden I'm like, Oh, that person's cool. Oh, that's cool. And I'm like, Italy, Italy, Italy. Mm. So must be like a style that they do. I haven't it, really it looked must be. Much into it, but it, yeah. I mean, it must, it has to be because the little stitcher hers are a lot. It reminded me of the primitive hair. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. All right. So we're going to jump into the next question. It's a subscriber question and they were just looking to see if you had a blog. Okay. I don't have the um, means to even have a grasp of the English language vocally. I definitely am not writing it. <laughs> I love story time so much. That's what it makes me think. <laughs> um, well, yeah, you'll love this one because the one I'm trying to upload over here right now in the corner is the, uh, the bees. It's also Greek mythology. Nice. Heads up. I'm oh. Looking forward to that one. <laughs> Gosh. Um, yeah, so no, no, I don't have, I definitely don't have a blog. <laughs> I don't think very many people do, but it was one that I wanted to throw in so that we can. Yeah, I think most people that have them had them before yep. and continued them. Yeah, that's true. So. Um, so this is kind of a fun one and it's how did you learn to stitch and how long have you been stitching? You kind of already answered that one, but. 
<laughs> yeah, so I've been stitching for, seriously? <laughs> My husband just started playing a TikTok video or something in the other room. It's so loud. Nice. He's like, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I've been stitching for, a, it's been a little more than a year because it was like, I think September. Um, and I learned from floss tube. Oh, nice. watching YouTube videos that I, nobody in my family cross stitches. Um, my grandmother used to quilt, if you could even call it quilting, but like my mom does no crafts, zero. Hmm. So just floss So yeah, I just got the, and it all started because of watching, um, fat quarter shop quilting is where it started. And then she started talking about, they had a floss tube and I was like, what the heck is that? So then I switched over and I was like, oh, cross stitch, I could do that. That's awesome. And then quilting completely got abandoned. Yep. And then the obsession with cross stitch happened so yep. much so that in less than a year, I opened a store <laughs> to sell. Uh, yeah, so. that's, that's crazy. I think that happens to a lot of people, though. There's something about stitching that people just go all in and go yep. down that rabbit hole of stitching. So absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what is the favorite project that you've stitched so far? You've been stitching for about a year. So do you have a favorite? <laughs> <laughs> I have tons of whips, very few finishes. So this question is actually very easy. Um, and the first three things I ever stitched and the only things, oh, take that back, four things I stitched and the only four things I have fully finished have all been gifts and have gone out the door. So... Let me open up my trusty little case here that keeps cat hair off of things. Um, and this is, both of these are by the Primitive Hair, and one is her Lilith. Oh, I haven't seen that one. It was a free, it still is, I'm sure, for freebie on her blog. All right. So it was a very quick and easy stitch. And then the other one is Pickety. And she was also, um, I think she was in, if you have the, Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. It's a freebie in there. Oh, okay. Well, it's not freebie, but if you it's have the magazine, there. you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> so are those, those are two those are on... probably my faves. And what fabric are those on? These are on yeah. um, Fabric Flare 14 count Ada parchment, Ada. which is one Yay. of my all time faves because it's dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah. I like Fabric I Flare's like fabric. I do too. Um, and it's really easy to stitch on. Mm -hmm. So I bought a bunch of 18 count. Oh, it's coming to you? my shop. Oh, did, did you? <laughs> that's dangerous. I did. You'll see it. You'll see it in the video that's uploading. I like show to it hurry off. up and upload because I need to watch it. By the time <laughs> this goes, your video is already going to be yeah. up for a little while. <laughs> well, I got, they're not in my shop yet. I got to cut it all up. Wow. Well, I'm still going to watch and probably message you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, the next question is, what do you enjoy most about stitching? Stabbing something over and over. <laughs> yep. 100, 100%. I picture it's the blood of my enemy. No, I, it's just, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it has, it's some type of Zen where yeah. you just get in that rhythm and it just completely with your breathing and everything, you just so relaxing when I go days without stitching it is noticeable mm -hmm. it's the same irritability that comes with when I'm hungry <laughs> like yeah, I get, I get it. snappy yep and I get irritated because and I've not I mean I have tons well, well there's a question later about crafting and hobbies I do a lot of things I don't get upset if I can't do those hmm. I get a little ill if I can't stitch yeah, I'm the same way. That's why I bring mine everywhere. If I do, if I don't get a few stitches in on just like my break at work, they tell me to go back off the floor. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> they tell me to go back off the floor and put a few stitches in because it calms. You know, I work with so I'm stressed it, all the time. Hundred percent. So. And I didn't yep. get to stitch today during lunch, and I'm <laughs> not in the <laughs> best of moods. <laughs> Great. This should be fun. Oh, uh, I know. It's terrible. It's um, terrible. Let's see. Where are we at? Because I totally lost it because we got... Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the next question kind of gets us out of stitching for a little bit and get to know you a little bit more. And it's, what's your favorite genre of book or movie? Um, so books, I'm a huge uh, Stephen King fan. I love Stephen King. Um, I own about all of them. I have not read all of them, but I own them all. Um, 
And with movies, it's the same type of, um, it's horror, thriller, mm. murder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, all the podcasts I listen to, they're all murder. 100%. That's good. I think Anna also from Stitch Roadies, I think in her interview, had talked about she likes like the murder type things. Which oh, yeah. Through. I watch Snap to the point it makes my husband nervous. Oh. <laughs> you better behave. That's the thing. You better behave. Right. You're learning. Right. It's bad. Well, he comes in and just gives me that look like, mm, you're watching this again. And I'm like, mm, you Taking know, I'm finding out how they, what they did to get caught, what, how they got messed up in this. Yep. You got to so. take those notes. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, what fictional place would you most like to go? Okay. So, this was a hard one because, um, Cassandra and Aaron stole my answer to oh. this one and the next question. That's my favorite. I mean, it's like, I already had the answer and I was going back through and watching all of your past ones because I'd only watched the more recent ones. And so I was yeah. watching all the older ones. And when she said Jamie Frazier's bedroom, I was like, Cassandra, <laughs> that is my answer. I was like, that's not fair. And I know I could answer that again, but I'm like, no, I'm going to come up with something else. So I even was asking my husband, like, where would I want to be? And he's like, well, you were obsessed with Game of Thrones. I was like, yeah, but I would die there. Like, no, I that's not where I would want to go. Too. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't. Like, yeah, I'm too salty. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe I would live there. But I feel like Neptune from Veronica Mars. Okay if I could be Veronica Mars best friend so I think that would be and I would have to solve cases with her because I love Kristen Bell but like I, that is one series that I was completely as an adult I didn't watch it when it was actually on but as mm -hmm. an adult became obsessed with so I would say I would say Neptune just so that I can hang out with Veronica Mars nice. um all right yeah because the other choice my husband was like you would probably want to be in Wonderland because I'm obsessed with Alice in Wonderland I'm like yeah, yeah. crazy that's, I mean, that's a crazy, mm, that's too crazy. I don't so yeah, know. I'm going to go with, go with would, Neptune. I think Wonderland would be a lot of fun. I think so. Cause if you're, if you're not near the palace. True. True. true, true. I mean, you would have, you would have, I want to be on the, on the uh, mushroom toadstool with the caterpillar. With <laughs> with his the caterpillar. <laughs> Cause that's the only place where I think a lot of the fun's happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's got, what, what was that? Like his hookah or whatever. His hookah pie. Yeah. <laughs> He's having some good time. Ooh, or the tea ah, party. You... Tea party. I want to be at the tea party. That's what I Oh want yeah. hundred percent. Cause they drinking something. That ain't yep. tea. They, yeah. They're something that's not tea. That, tea. that little mouse with the hiccups. That ain't tea. A little hot toddy is what they're drinking. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Um, but yeah, the Jamie Frazier's bed when Cassandra said that, I just bust out laughing. That was like <laughs> one and, of and the best was, answers. And I was like, you know, that's fine. She stole that one. She won't get the next one. And then when Aaron said the next one, I was like, <laughs> that's all right. A lot of people fair. have said Harry Potter, you know, so there's been a lot of the same type yeah. of answer. So I am uh, nobody hate me, but I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I'm not an anti Harry Potter fan. I just didn't get into it. Yeah. Um, it's not enough sex and violence. <laughs> That's why you like the Game of Thrones. Actually, exactly. my husband and I, we have uh, Sunday date nights where I get home from work, we'll have dinner, and then we just chill on the couch and like binge watch a, a show. And so we're yeah. watching Game of Thrones now from the beginning. So it's kind of funny that you mentioned that because we just started that. Have you, but have you seen it already? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I've seen it yeah, already. See, every He's season and all, but right before every season, new season started, I started from the beginning again. So, like the first season, I've seen eight times. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> and you find something new. That's every true. Time. That is true. And anytime there is a sexual scene, pay attention to everything that's happening around that scene because that's the distraction. Very important things are happening, and they're trying to sidetrack you. That is a good point. With the other. I noticed that 100%. the other night, so that's funny. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Good tip right there if anybody's rewatching Game of Thrones. Exactly. If anybody's rewatching, pay attention to the dialogue, not all the visuals. Not though. all the visuals. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next question is kind of fun, and it's if you could choose to do anything for a day, what would it be? Well, it would have been Jamie Frazier. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> but... Um, I, you know, I don't want to be the saying stitching, 
sorry, Arlo's down here. Aww. I don't want to say stitching, but since my shop, like I don't get to stitch as often as I would like, cause I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. So it actually probably would be stitching. <laughs> I don't blame Just, you. Yeah. I want to be like in the middle of nowhere, in a cabin, in the woods. I mean, I don't want Jason Voorhees there. But outside of that, like just sitting there, isolated, just stitching. No, no axe murderers though. Yeah, no, yeah, no axe murderers. <laughs> yeah, that does, that does sound like an amazing little getaway for sure. But being busy is good though. It is very good. There's been a lot of very people good. that have been talking about you and your shop too uh -oh. in, in their videos. So that's kind of good to get the word out. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh Oh, yay, kitty. <laughs> oh, over in front of the camera. <laughs> you can see he's my slight like, ear and nose. He's, it's just enough where you're going to see just a little ear. No, here there comes. we go. Don't show your bum. Don't show your bum. I okay. left you a comment where you should get those little, um, oh, the little, <laughs> little kitty <laughs> That's when, we used to, we, when he saw those on something, he sent it to me. He's like, we should get these. I was like, they would have eaten them. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cool, though. We just got a little kitty, so I'm, like, obsessed with kitties now, so. I love it. And I hope your husband's allergies adjust. I think they should. He hasn't had any bad reactions because my daughter went crazy buying all the stuff to help with mm -hmm. it. So. Well, kittens also, a lot of people think that the allergy, and this is so not cross-stitch, that the allergy is um, the dander, but it's actually the saliva from when yeah, they clean, and kittens licking. don't clean as much. So... And if you start from the kitten, by the time they start cleaning, you've already, your allergies have adjusted oh. to that cat. But now if he goes to somebody else's house, he's going to have the same reaction he normally would. Yeah, so. he has bad reactions going to anybody mm. else's house. But so far, so good with us. So Good. Yeah, but I love your little kitty cameo. Which kitty was that? That Which was kitty? Arlo. Arlo? He's the one that's, uh, well, he'll be two years in February. He's oh. the one that has no tail. He's adorable. All right, <laughs> let, let's get back into some questions. We are at the, do you have any other hobbies besides cross stitch? All of them. <laughs> um, actually, I don't crochet or knit. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't, I don't think I'd be very good at them. Um, I did a lot of um, card making and stuff. Like I'm a huge Tim Holtz fan. So I have like everything that he's ever made um, and put out in his line of stuff. Um, Cause it's all distressed and making things look old and vintage. Oh, that's cool. um, and I have my Cricut maker right here that does nothing but sit there and look pretty. She's so pretty. I have a ton of vinyl that just sits there cause vinyl sucks. Um, I thought I was going to be cutting vinyl, but man, it sucks. I'm not, it sucks. I'm that person where I find something that I'm interested in and I go all in. Yep. I do, and that I do too. it. And because I'm not a perfection like I'm a perfectionist. So when I'm not perfect at it, the first time I try it, which is stupid, dumb, like why you're not going to be perfect the first time you try it. Right. Um, then I, I get frustrated and I don't want to do it anymore. Um, so, um, as well, let me know from here. No, that's all paper behind me, but the quilting fabrics all over here. So I do a little quilting. Um, yeah, I do a little bit of everything except for crochet and need, are you sleeping? He's snoring. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope y'all can't hear that. No, we can't. And now hear if you, if you could, I've now just brought attention to it. Sorry. No, I can't hear it. So we, we should. Okay, good. That's funny. Good. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm the same way if I, cause I've been, I have a sewing machine that I am not friends with and I probably never will be. I've been challenged to use it next year, but I, oh, yeah, my, my, my sewing machine right now, the only thing that me and it agrees on is um, putting zigzag stitches around my cross stitch fabric <laughs> you so that it doesn't that. fray. That's, that's the extent we're friends. Yeah, good. At least you and I are on the same page with that one. You yeah. can just sit there and look pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, it's a cute one, too. It's the singer one that looks like the old timey singer, but nope, it just sits there. Yeah, no, same with me. I don't know. I don't even think I'll touch it next year. I could just hand sew the pillows like I've been doing and we're good. So. Yeah. Well, I did quilting just fine, but sewing, like technically sewing scares me. Everybody's like, well, it's, no, it's, it's, I don't know. Quilting, you're dealing with small things, short little stitches. Yeah. I'm good. But if I got to do a long run of something, I'm out. Yeah. I can't like make this. it straight. It drives me so. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This one I'm super excited about. 
this next one. I love hearing the answer. Um, is how would your friends describe you? Okay, I would have immediately thought salty AF, inappropriate. Uh, I would have thought they would have said all those things, sarcastic, but no. Hmm. Okay. They were all really nice. <laughs> and then it kind of made me like, oh. Um, one of them said that, um, well, one of them said, I don't, I don't half-ass anything. I go, she said, so I don't know, dedicated? And I was like, neurotic? I don't know. Um, but she's like, you, you just, when you say you're going to do something, you are all in 100% in for it. And she's probably saying that because like the times they've come over and helped me with my shop. I'm like, don't put that sticker like that on that envelope. It's got to be like, so, <laughs> so I think, she, I think her, me being all in is, is really, you know, her saying I'm a little much. Um, and, and I had another friend that she just said that I was, she said I was funny. Um, and it's so funny because it's like I saw all these now it's like all the thoughts have left my brain of um oh and then one of my friends she said that I had um a penchant for crafting and which is not how you describe me but whatever and knowledge and she said that's what's up with your hot mess express story time story time yeah. is because you do like learning I was like no I do because when I'm reading it sometimes I'm like I don't know what that is I'm clicking on it let's find out what that is <laughs> so um yeah everybody I mean, everybody was a way kinder than I thought they would be just because we're such a sarcastic group. Oh, okay. I that like, I really thought I was going to get raked over the coals with them. And then they were so nice. And I was like, oh, you guys. See, I um, like when people reach out to their friends uh, for these interviews and ask them that question because it's kind of neat. You discover, because you would never ask it, I think, no. any other time. You would never think of like, what do you think of me? Well, no, because I think I'm wonderful, and I think that's what they think I am. So I would never ask, because, you know, they may <laughs> contradict you want to know the truth. No. no, of course not. I want to live in my ignorant bliss that I'm amazing. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, it, they always, they'll always get the responses that are, like, nicer yeah. or whatever than what they thought. So it's kind of Well, fun. they were, it was touching, which, I mean, I guess makes sense if, if, if they're your friends, True. They, obviously there's something about you that they, that they, they really like. like or care about, you know, and yep. I just, you know, was so, everybody was so, so I really thought they were all just going to like pick horribly on, but no, nope, they were all really, really kind. I was like, really? That's what y'all are going with? Hey, that's like, what they think of you, which is great. All right. <laughs> which is great. Oh, one of them said, you're real. What you see is what you get. You're a hundred percent real. And I was like, yeah, and that's sometimes is yeah. a fault. <laughs> That's one of, I think that's one of the best traits that somebody can actually have. Cause I'd rather have somebody who would tell it to me straight than totally yeah. BS and, and, you know, so that's one of the yeah, best traits absolutely. to have. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. Um, so we're going to get back into stitching a little bit and it's, how do you prefer to stitch? Do you use a hoop, a cue snap, a scroll frame, that kind of stuff? Um, I, first of all, prefer to stitch in my clothes, you know, not naked or anything. Um, <laughs> That's no, good I, I, in my, <laughs> or is it? Um, I stitch in hand. Oh, okay. I, I have never, I have all the cue snaps, like all the sizes, because when I first became obsessed, you know, I bought all the things because I didn't know yep. what I was going to need. So buy them all instead of <laughs> trying to figure it out. Yeah, um, and and so I just didn't care for it and I got frustrated. So I took it out of it and I was just like, oh, and then I just held it. I was like, oh, this is so natural feeling to me. So I have been stitching in hand from the start, which is only a year ago, but from the start. So still, that's, that's a long time to stitch in hand though. I, I just couldn't get a grasp on it. So oh, it's so much comfortable. Cause like, I just can get, cause I'm one of those people where I can tort myself in weird positions when I'm sitting on the couch and stuff. And so it's so nice to wear like, no matter which, way I am like there's nothing in my way because like it's just it's just easy. that's a good point that's a good point do you do the sewing method yeah. or just the stab and the poke and stab um, I both just kind just of depends whatever. it depends on um yeah it just kind of depends yeah that makes sense um yeah. do, you, do you have a preferred fabric that you kind of lean towards since you've started well, of course, I started off on 14 count, Ada, like most people do. Yeah. And I enjoyed that. And then I kind of felt not, it was pressure on myself. It wasn't from any person because most people out there say there's nothing wrong with Ada stitching. Yep. All the things, right? Um, 
but I felt pressure on myself like that I needed to not be stitching on Ada like that that was you know for babies or whatever so I immediately bought some linen hated it <laughs> and so then it became to the point because I because because I'm stitching in hand I pull my stitches too tight with linen okay. and then it like literally my stitches are teeny tiny and giant holes around it like it just wasn't good and um so I didn't care for it and then I tried um uh even wave Lagana and I really enjoy it a lot. I like the way it looks. Sometimes I don't like the math of it. And so there are days, especially after I, you know, I work at a computer all day long mm. um, at my other job <laughs> and I'm dealing with numbers all day long because I'm a controller for a real estate company. And so when I get home, I don't want to be counting. Oh, and it's not the doing over two because your eyes actually adjust to that, believe it or not. Okay. But it's when you have to skip over and count out. Yeah. I, man, I will mess that up because I can't yep. even count right with Ada. So <laughs> I'm like, I don't, sometimes I just don't want to do with it. So I have been lately been stitching more stuff on my 14 count Ada just because my eyes are tired. I'm tired and I don't want to think about it. And yep. I'm actually just enjoying it. Yeah. So I'm I, that's, all over the place. that's for me too with Ada. Cause I only stitch on Ada and it's just something where the pieces still look beautiful. Cause there's so much yeah. beautiful Ada now that's out there that oh, I yeah. don't think that I could wrap my brain around doing like the over two or anything like that. So yeah, well, it's a lot. I'll tell you on this one piece that I just started, I have a new start. And like I said, it's in my, the video that's uploading um that she's not a mirror billy or any of those i don't do the fancy ladies because i'm too scared of them mm -hmm. um but everybody talks about on the floss tubes about stitching over one on the skin and how beautiful it looks and i'm just like okay so with her i started stitching over one on her skin and she's on 32 count lugana okay. mm -mm. I, nope and i'm in it now so i gotta finish her skin oh, but I those see. stitches are so tiny oh, wow. that I had a headache after doing it and I had to just stop doing her skin and start doing her dress because I was like oh, I can't geez. but I mean I have to finish it now because you should her, do a magnifying glass <laughs> dang so, yeah you should yeah. get a magnifying glass or something oh no honey I have one. Oh, do you <laughs> oh no I have there are times where I will still and uh, yeah you'll see it there are times where um, I will do 14 count Ada under a magnifier just because my eyes are so tired from being yeah. a computer that I'm trying to not fatigue them more than they yeah. should be. So and yeah, you do need to kind of be focused a little bit so you can see. What yeah. And they're 42 so years it. old. So, yeah. you know, yeah. I get it. I had to get, these are bifocals. I had to get bifocals just so that I could see, you know, stitching, but I can still see mm -hmm. long distance to like with the TV or whatever, instead of up, down, up, down. So, oh yeah. Totally yeah. get it. Oh, Skeeter there. It's Skeeter now. <laughs> hey, Bubba. So um, there's an airplane flying overhead, so hopefully you can't hear it. But uh, the next question is, where is your favorite place that you've traveled, and did you bring stitching along when you went? Have you traveled in the past? <laughs> <laughs> well, the majority of my stitching life has been in the middle of a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. So... <laughs> Um, but my favorite place that I traveled was when I went to Morocco and no, I wasn't stitching. So I didn't bring stitching. Um, but so for my pandemic life, the place that I did bring stitching was when I got my oil changed. Yep. I do that too. <laughs> and I had everything set up. I had my lamp, I had everything laid out. And then I probably, cause normally it takes forever. Yeah. I probably got in four stitches and they're like, Hey, your car's ready. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I had like everything set up and it was like perfection because I was planning on being there for an hour. Yeah. Usually I, I was there less, I was there less, less than 15 minutes. That's crazy. I'm telling you, it was like, I was at a Jiffy Lube. Well, it's probably because it's a pandemic. They're trying to get you in and out basically. So yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense. Um, so what can you not do without for your stitching? Like your favorite go-to other than the basics, but. I have that too. <laughs> I love that. This puppy. Yep. And that magnifier. Yep. All day. And it's the one that um, is on the go. There's no yep. plug. 
I and then have, I have the one that does plug up at work. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, that one plugs in, too, because that I had that sent to me, and I had no idea what it was, but a subscriber had sent it to me, and that's, like, my favorite thing. It goes in my bag that goes with me everywhere. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's where I take – and then, see, this one is long, so every night I put it on the charger so it's all charged, yep. and it will go with me. And then, finally, I got tired of taking it to and from work. So at work, I bought the one where you just, it only plugs in. Like it doesn't work oh, without okay. the plug. Yeah. Um, and then I just keep it at work. That works. Yeah. Since, I, since I'm stitching during lunch. Yeah. While I'm watching Cobra Kai. While you're watching what? Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. What's that? Yes. Oh my gosh. On Netflix. It's, I it's the, that. Um, it's Johnny from Karate Kid and, and oh. Daniel from Karate Kid. And it's Cobra Kai was the, you know, the bad group and yeah um yeah so it's a whole new it's got two seasons now to where mm. it's it is the best of all the 80s things it's amazing i'm gonna have to watch that i like 80s. it's amazing nope. i mean it's super lame but it's amazing huh i haven't seen that i've been on it oh yeah too, so i'll have to check that out everybody else yeah. can check that out too we're gonna <laughs> leave that in for a little if bit if you of... were a karate kid fan yeah. when you were growing up i cobra love karate kid yeah cobra Kai. all right <laughs> that's funny um, so how do you decide on what you're going to work on next for your projects? Um, so far, my most, my most recent start was just, it was, it was calling to me. Um, and most of these were calling to me. Some of them are, um, stitchy friends saying, Hey, we should do a sow on this. And I go, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so they're picked for me, that's um, which is what's happening with that Sir Thomas from Glendon Place, that big, beautiful bird that, that I'm going to try to do a sow with. Yes, yep. it was literally somebody was like, we should we should stitch this together. I'm like, well, we could stitch it together. Let's offer everybody to stitch yep. it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm either told <laughs> or something kind of calls to me. I don't even I know you have the app and I'm, I'm trying I'm like the app. You. I don't want it to tell me. Cause I'm my own, you're not the boss of me <laughs> and I do what I want to do and it's not going to tell me cause I'm telling you whatever comes up ain't going to be what I want to do. Yep. And that's it's why never I, gonna be. yeah, that's why I stopped using it. I tried it for mania and I was like, I don't like to be told what to do. That's not what yeah, I want to say. <laughs> no, I'm a grown ass woman. Don't tell me what to do. Yep. I do that to my husband. He tries to say it's, it's bedtime. And I'm like, I'm a grown ass woman. You're not gonna tell me what to do. <laughs> And then like, he goes, okay, I'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> Cause he knows me. <laughs> Cause as soon as he leaves, I'm like, I am kind of tired. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> you should like, just oh. wait like 10 minutes. So then it's your, <laughs> I just don't want to be, yeah. Then it's my idea that I yep. wanted to come to bed. Yep. I don't like being told what to do. I'm a little independent only child. I don't like being told what to do. Right. Yeah, um, nope. yeah. So what I do is, so in my stitch bag, I have um, about five whips that are in it, they go with me to work every day so that I can just pick whichever one calls to me that day at work. So, yeah. yeah. Well, that seems to be the thing is whatever is calling to them. Yeah, I like that. That's kind of what I do too, except for I've been focusing lately on one project and trying to get it done, so. Are you about to be bombed? I know, can you hear that? I don't know <laughs> I can hear that on. one. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with all the airplanes today. <laughs> It's crazy. That does sound like a bummer, though. But now, it's yeah. It did. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Well, this has been kind of a fun interview. <laughs> <laughs> Snoring, cat butt, being bombed. I mean, we got all the hey, excitement. We are here to please your audience, know, right? <laughs> all right. So we are on to the last question, and it's my most favorite. I say it every interview. Um, and it's, what's the best thing that has happened to you so far this year? Obviously it's a great one because of everything else that's happened this year. Yeah. I know everybody has actually said the pandemic's one of the best things. And, um, I, I wish I knew what would have opened my Etsy store had we not been in a pandemic or not, but I don't, mm -hmm. cause I would say my Etsy store probably is. Um, the best thing, um, cause it really took off and it was like so shocking to me. I didn't realize it was going to do as well. So, mm -hmm. um, and <laughs> so, but I always like go, okay, so if we weren't in a pandemic though, would I have started it anyways? Cause I had been discussing it Yeah. like, you know, at the end of last year, cause my husband was just like, you have all these patterns. You should open a store. He didn't mean like literally he was just 
trying to be ugly about how many things I owned. Yeah. <laughs> Mine has made that and, comment too. So. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I was like, ding, ding, ding. I totally should because it would support my habit. Yeah. And then I can buy all the things, even if they're things I'm not going to stitch, just the joy mm -hmm. of buying them and then providing them to other people because of how much I just love the hobby. Yeah. Um, so I, I guess, because I, here's the thing is like, I don't get to say, oh, the family, because I don't have kids. I have, I have cats. Um, so there's no been like, everybody's talking about being able to stay home and be with their family. Um, yeah. I've worked since day one of the pandemic. I have worked every day since the pandemic. Oh, wow. My husband has worked every day of the pandemic. Our schedule, nothing has changed. Um, okay. Everything, obviously, except for being able to to go out. To do stuff, yeah. Yeah, other than that, our whole normal work week has been exactly the same. So it's like, I didn't, I can't, you know, some people are like, oh, being able to work from home, like, I didn't get to do that. <laughs> yeah, I did so, it for yeah. a few months. Lots of stitching time, but... Yeah. Yeah. See, I didn't get any more than I would have had any other time. I think I'm, so. I'm right there with you. I say it a lot. I don't think that I would have started the zoom meetups that I host in, you know, meeting all these people from all over the world had it not been for the pandemic, you know, being True. at home and not being able to see my stitchy friends here locally. So right. yeah. I mean, I think your Etsy shop, you opened it at a good time because a lot of people were home and they're doing the right. order. So the timing of everything was really good. So even yeah. if there weren't a pandemic and you were still maybe thinking about it, it may not have been as huge. Maybe who knows? Yeah, because, maybe. Yeah. It's just the thing is like, you yeah, know, cause so I can have opened in June. Yeah. My store has only been open since June. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Yes. Because well, yeah, I've seen a so, lot of people are talking about, because I think they found your floss tube, really, and then yep. they find your shop. So, free advertising, yeah. I'm telling you. Yep. So, well, and then you feel like you're buying from somebody you know. True. That which is, true. is what, what we all want to do. Yeah. Because, and though so many of us are stuck at home and we can't have those personal relationships with somebody at the store or their yep. little shop. So, it's the next best thing is I'm not just this person behind the computer that you have no idea who you're buying things sure. from you are welcomed into my home and you know and meet my family my cats <laughs> and so you know who you're buying from up close and so. personal by the way too <laughs> yes um yes. but I like how you also because I got my first order from you um mm -hmm. which I'm already stitching and hadn't shown it in floss tube so I already broke Yay! the rule but I like that you put in like a little goodie package or like a little goodie thing filled with like neat little stuff not many shops do that so that's like yeah. another added personal touch that you do that people may not know so yeah I um and they're different up and through order number five and then after order number five you start rotating back so oh. I have five different goodie that's cool packs. I didn't know that <laughs> yes I have and it it probably it would have been more but I had to condense it down to to five. I have one customer that has been supporting me from the, the start. Um, and I don't know if I just like was her like charity case where she's like, Oh, look, this is a brand new little store. I'm going to help her. And she has ordered for me every week, almost since I started. Wow. Right. Awesome. And, um, I finally was like, uh, I won't say her name cause I don't know if she wants to know, but I was like, oh, I'm going to start just putting a $5 bill in an envelope <laughs> and putting it with your order. Cause I'm running out of ideas over here. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what else to put in anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, true. That's true. Yeah. That's funny. But no, that, yeah. that's a neat little added touch. And, you know, I like, like you respond quickly too. Like I messaged you the other day and you respond pretty quickly and you're like, I'll get it. <laughs> so I yeah. I like that. I try yeah. to. And as yeah. soon as somebody asks for something, I'm immediately pulling up both of my distributors and I am searching to make sure that I can get it. Yeah. I like that. So, so and then if I can't get it through those, I've been known to reach out to designers too, to see if I can buy from them directly. So oh, that's cool too. Yeah. Um, I think everybody should go and check out your Etsy shop. I'll put the link down yeah. below. Um, because you do your Etsy shop really cool. They also should check out your video so they can get enabled. Just have a pen and paper ready people. Just saying, <laughs> right. I have my notepad <laughs> open on my iPad with floss tube next to it so that I could type it up and then copy and paste it and then send it to Bobby. <laughs> love it that's what i did for that last love week. it you're about to disappear into the darkness 
I know I am. Yeah. <laughs> but we are at the end of the interview anyway. So that was kind of perfect timing for this. Um, and it's getting cold. <laughs> oh, <laughs> goodness. Um, so, but thank you so much uh, for taking time out of your day to do this. Um, I really appreciate it. It was thank a lot you. of fun because you are hilarious yeah. and it was, oh, people thanks. are going to be laughing. So it's going to be a blast. Um, oh, I don't think I was that funny tonight, but uh, we were I felt like I was trying not to have too much pressure and at the same time, not trying to try too hard not to be funny because I was too worried about <laughs> trying to be funny. You it's the whole good. thing. It it's went crazy well. up in here. People oh. are going to like it. So <laughs> <laughs> people will like it and enjoy it. So. We'll say bye awesome. to everybody on Floss 2. Bye, guys.